Hello, I'm Paul Zajic, founder of Elastic Seal, method of athletic conditioning. Today's question is about the front stance. Now, there's many ways to do a front stance, and some styles do them this way, some styles do them very high like so, some styles go deeper, some styles turn out more, some styles turn out less. For a lot of tournaments, parallel front stance required, and for some of them it's not required, it looks good. Okay, and some styles actually ask for a front stand that looks like this. I very often practice this front stance myself. So what it is, is the feet are not one behind the other, they're out to the side and we have the rear leg pointing forward, rear toes pointing forward, rear kneecap pointing forward. Why is it not everyone can do it? Well, there are a number of muscles, but one specifically called the psoas, I'm sure you guys heard of psoas many times, and the psoas like to flex, it like to adduct, it like to outward rotate. You're doing all the opposite of that, okay? You're abducting, you're extending, you're inward rotating. So all the fibers of that soles are going crazy because everything that it likes to do, you're doing opposite. So you're stretching it to full degree, okay? So this here really shows soles flexibility, okay? This here. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to do it again. If you can do a low stance like this without turning out, if you can keep it forward, okay, leaning in, here you abducting, extending, rotating in, you could do that. This actually shows source flexibility. Of course, you're not, you know, you're not type extending here. This also shows source flexibility, of course. So doing that, that's what it shows. If you have one side tighter than the other, don't be surprised that you're not going to be able to go as slow on that tight side or you're going to have a little bit out of rotation on that side, okay? So what can we do? There's stretching exercises, pressure exercises. Check out elasticseal.com for more information on that.